Bishop of Hampton, New Hampshire. Unofficially, the winner, John Savage from Hampton, New Hampshire. I think it's going. Hospital Family Fund. I said, I think it's going. What am I looking for? Red button on the top. Red light. A good run yeah, under going, 17 going, going. and a half minutes for John Savage. Do we still have it in the picture? Check that you got a good time. I'm going to in just a minute. I'm making sure you can see the camera in there. Number 309 making his way to the finish line. Give it up for Jamie Phileas of York, Maine. And we're at the 1830 mark, 1830 mark. Congratulations unofficially to John Savage from Hampton and Jamie Phileas of York, number one and two in the 2022 York Hospital Family Fund 5K Road Race. Number 309 making his way to the finish line. Give it up for Jamie Phileas of York, number one and two in the 2022 York Hospital Family Fund 5K Road Race. If you see members of that family today, wish them the best and thank you very much for being a part of it. Number 77 coming through the finish line, Brendan Mather of York, Maine. Here comes Priest Peter Cody from York. At the 1930 mark, 1930 mark. There yet. Why is he talking From York, Maine, Chad Ingle. Coming across the finish line. Unofficially one and two, John Savage of Hampton, Jamie Phileas of York, our one and two top finishers. Number two coming to the finish line from York, Maine, Hayden Atkinson. Give it up for David Goodsell, number 47 crossing the finish line. And number 10 right behind, Nicholas Boyd from a number main. And we're coming up to the 21 minute mark, the 21 minute mark. Don't forget, we will have a short award ceremony. If you want to stay around for that, we'll have gift cards for the winners, the top male and female overall, and the top male and female in the age demographic categories as well. Here comes Stephen Weeks from Portsmouth. And number 40, Colin Farrington of York. Ryan Yost of North Forward coming to the finish line, followed by number 26, Robert DeVito. Of Portsmouth. 
Number 220 coming down the finish line, Bill Armstrong of Portsmouth. Followed by number 207, Bob Strout of Salisbury, Massachusetts. Thank you, Bob, for joining us today. Number 95 making his way to the finish line, Henry Ober of York Harbor. Followed by number 17, Tom Cross from York, Maine. Number 116 coming to the finish line, give it up for Julie Sprague of York, Maine. Finishing the 2022 York Hospital Family Fund 5K Road Race today. Number 305, Francis Lamy, number 28 with the sprint to the finish, Quinn Kajiska of York. And here comes number 60, John Kelly of Hollis Center, Maine. Number 55, give it up for Patty Higgins of York, everybody. Number 11 making her way to the finish line, Jerry Clifford of Rye. Frank Cohn of Charleston, South Carolina joining us today. As well as Jeffrey Jellison of York, Maine crossing the finish line, followed by number 214, Mark Leitz. And number 89, Greg Neal of York. Number 59, making his way to the finish line, Robert Kane of Agumpa, Maine. Number 8, Bethany Boczynski of York, Maine, crossing the finish line. 25.30 is her winning time. Great race, thank you. Oh. Allie and Grady Geller of York coming across the finish line together. Here comes Jim Campbell of Byfield, Massachusetts. If you check some of the boards that are QR codes, you can just scan the QR codes and you'll find out the results as well. Just scan the QR codes that you'll find around the campus this morning. Eric Smith of Silver Lake, New Hampshire, crossing the finish line. And Nancy Moore Chase from York. Thank you, Nancy, for the race. Number 205, Carl Moulton of Saco, Maine. Coming up to the 27 minute mark, 27 minute mark. You'll see some of the QR codes posted near the entrance. You can scan that with your phone and find out your results as well. Immediate results from Granite State Racing, the QR codes. Coming down the finish line, Andrew Mather of York, Maine. Coming up to the 27.30 mark, the 27.30 mark.
Here comes Charles Black from York, Maine. And number 53 making her way to the finish line, Madeline Herman of York. Followed by number 12, Daniel Cohn of York. Thanks, Daniel. Number 123, give it up for Christy Van Oyen of York Beach. Number 39, coming through the finish line. Number 110, right behind, Hibby Raymond of Cambridge. Number 87, Priscilla Morici of York, Maine. At the 28 minute mark, great race for a 5K. Great race, thank you for joining us today. We've got Dean Lazard of York Beach crossing the finish line now. Number one, Joseph Aiello of Cape Kennick. And number 85, there he goes, Hamish Morgan. Number 111, Nick Richard of Kinry. Number 99, crossing the finish line right now. 99, Emily Poblitas of York, Spain. Number 69, Jenna Luzewski of your Maine. Coming up to the 29, 30 minute mark. Number 213, give it up for Terry Lemon of Portsmouth. of York. All right, Deb, you got the finish line right in front of you. There it is, at the 30 minute mark. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Sarah Olson of Portland, Maine, coming to the finish line. Also, Krista Moulton of Saco, Maine, Dave Cohn of York, Maine, and number 38 coming to the finish line, Charlie Farrington of Methuen, Massachusetts. Some water, some snacks, and refreshments. And here comes number 41, Christopher Formney of Canton, Massachusetts. At 31 30, crossing the finish line. joining us today. Good to see you. From Kennebuck, Maine, crossing the finish line, Lawson Noy. Give him a nice round of applause. Lucky 
Rookie number seven, Terry Blanchard of Portsmouth. Morning. We appreciate it. Here comes Lisa Burke of York Maine. Followed by Liam Stubbins and Jeffrey Upton. Liam of York and Jeffrey from Berwick. Number 45. Thank you, Maggie. All right, four runners crossing the finish line. Number 106, 107. Edward and Benjamin Pryor. The finish line, the 34-minute mark, Tom Perflidis. Here comes Chris Barry of York, Maine, coming across the finish line at 
Mahoney.
way to the finish line. Janelle Nielsen of York, Maine, making her way to the finish line. award ceremony in just a few moments. We've got gift cards to the top overall male and female and gift cards to the top male and female in each age category as well. and runners as well. Thanks to our Lee Brother sponsor, the Wilonis family. The Wilonis family, thank them so much. Our Miracle Mile sponsors, Anthem Insurance, Crown Uniform and Linen Service, Group Dynamics, Image First, Northeast Delta Dental and Barney Benefits Advisors. Thank you to all those folks that make this race possible today. as well, so if you think you won, you can check your results on the board, you've got the top 100 listed there, you can scan the QR codes as well, find out exactly where you stand in the race today.
posting the winners up to 46 minutes, so you will cross the finish line. 46 minutes or less, you'll see your name, you'll see your number, you'll see your time. Chris from Granite State Racing is posting those right now on the board. You can check them out.
between the final times and the final standings. And in just a few moments, we will have a short award ceremony. We'll give you a gift card to the top male and female overall, and the top male and female in the demographics, the different age groups.
have a few people left out on the course, but if you want to gather around this side of the parking lot here, we're going to start our award ceremony. We're going to gather right across the parking spaces here. We don't want to keep you. We want you to continue on with your day. We want to thank you very much for joining us today as well, though. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for being here. We had uh, close to 170 runners and walkers, and thank you very much. We appreciate it. Give yourself a nice round of applause. The road racers are coming back live, and we appreciate that. This road race was not done in a couple of years because of the pandemic, of course. We hope everybody is healthy and doing well. Uh, once again, we want to just give a shout out to our great sponsors, the uh, Wallace family, give them a big neck round of applause. If you see members of the Wallace family today, thank them very much for being a part of this historic hospital 5K run today. Our Miracle Mile sponsors, Anthem Insurance, Crown Uniform and Linen Service, Group Dynamic, Image First, Northeast Delta Dental, Barney Benefits Advisors, and thanks to A Copy, Baker Newman Noise, Chalmers Insurance, the Coca-Cola Bottling Company of Northern New England, and Power Retirement Services, Hannaford and Dumas Printing Company, McGeffis, Netifest, I should say, Kelly, Rebel, and Zimmerman, Metro Group, Partners Bank, RX Benefits, USI Insurance. So thank them, give them a nice collective round of applause because these are the community partners that support all sorts of events in the community, especially here in the town of York. And also our thanks to a lot of the people from the uh, York Parks and Recreation for helping to uh, put this all together. So we've got awards to give to you as well, but first I'd like to introduce Dr. Patrick Taylor. He's the York Hospital President and CEO. I'd like to share a few words of uh, appreciation. Pat, it's all yours. Thank you, and uh, really great to have everybody come back out into the community and see all your smiling faces. And really, really heartfelt thank you for coming out and supporting your hospital, but also supporting our caring for all of them. That's funds that help those that need a little extra help when they get their health care. Uh, so, wonderful part of our, our community. Um, you know, one of the registrants said he's been doing this for 30 years. Initially started with his daughters, and now he's doing it with his granddaughters. And that, wow, super, super uh, to have that. And I hope this is, this is just the beginning of more and more activities that we can come together and uh, see each other face to face uh, as we get past uh, these past several years. Again, our special thanks to our lead runner sponsor, the Wadlatis family. Just, you know, this is superb with us, their support. A couple other thanks. Thanks to Liz Cooper, Robin Cogger, and the crew from York Parks and Recreation for everything they did this morning for us. Yeah, thank you. And if you didn't know, you know this, a great, a great thanks to Tristan Rubacher, expert lifeguard movie. She's the one that kept all of us out of the water as we went across that Wiggly Bridge, and hopefully nobody went into that water. Um, but again, there's still some refreshments, there's some uh, fruit, go yogurt heart-healthy donuts. I lie about the heart-healthy part. If you enjoyed the donuts. Um, and uh, I'm going to turn it over to our DJ and uh, let's, let's honor the, the runners that uh, came in first and second and so forth. Thank you, Pat. Give it up for Dr. Taylor, everybody. All right, so if you hear your name, we're going to run through these winners quickly so we don't we don't want you to waste your whole day, but we don't thank you and appreciate your time being here today. So thank you very much. So overall, we're going to have the top male and female finishers in each particular age group. But first, the top overall male finisher and the top overall female finisher. If you hear your name, come on up and get your prize and your gift card as well. Uh, the overall winner of the race 